So on my stove here, I have some white melt and pour melting. It's just a pan with some water in the bottom, stainless steel bowl on the top, and it's getting melted. And then I have, whoa, we fogged up the camera. And then I have some clear melt and pour. Now, these are super hot, 165, one, well, what, 150, that's not too bad. And I need to get them down to 100 and about 20 or 30 before I mix them. So I'm gonna pour them out and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So today I'm making some tea tree oil. I was gonna use these in beds, but I changed my mind. Um, it is melt and pour soap. And I have this huge bucket of soap over here waiting and it was melting and melting and melting and now it's done. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it in. And guess what I just did? I just used the wrong bowl. <clears throat> Let's see, hmm. Maybe not, that might work. Okay, so. That's heavy. All right, I think this will work. So, this is tea tree oil, and I'm gonna try to put these embeds in. Now, I had a piece of green soap that I shaved, spraying it to try and get them spread out here. I think this will work. I hope it does. I don't know. We'll see. Um. So. Let me check my temperature. This is rubbing alcohol in here, 99% rubbing alcohol. You can get it in the description below. So I'm under 150 degrees, so I can go ahead and get my essential oil put in. This one is tea tree. Now I want it to get down to 120 if I can for the embeds to stay without melting. So we will see where are we at? We're at 139. So we'll see if we can do that. I don't know. So what I'm trying to decide is if I should put a teensy teensy tiny bit of green to make it a pale green. Or should I just leave it white? I think I'm gonna leave it white and just put these in. So, I will be right back as soon as it cools down. Okay, so, I am back. Okay, so I am back and let's check our soap here. I keep scraping down the sides, so I'm down to 130. So I'm gonna get my sides scraped down and get all the chunks kind of remelted. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour in my embeds right here. Well, the kids did something with my lights. Okay, so I'm spraying them with rubbing alcohol. Get them all kind of loosened. And the rubbing alcohol helps them adhere in the soap. And hopefully they won't melt. So here we go. Let's see if we can get it in and not have them melt. Almost done, Dave. And get them like that. Okay, so there we go. Now, here's my mold. All right, so let's pour it in and see what happens. Oh, wow, this tea tree, tea tree smells really, really good. Ah, I got too much soap. How did I do that? Oh, that stinks. Okay, 
So let me see what I'm going to do here. Man, there's a lot of embeds down there. Okay, hold on. So, since I have so much soap left, I'm going to scoot this gently over to the side. I sprayed the top with rubbing alcohol. And these are leftovers from a, from my other videos I did. So I'm just going to pour... Oh no! Shoot, I still don't think. All right, well these are going to be a little large. Hmm. This dirt. Okay. So I'll just make these samples. These are my leftover melted melt and pour that I'm going to use for another soap. But these are my. I guess I'll just make them samples. So, all right. Now, I think I'm gonna try one more thing. Let me get this out of the way. So I did this on one of my other soaps and it turned out actually really pretty. So I'm gonna try it on this one. Oops, now that I just spilled. Okay, so what I did is I took a little bit of mica. With some alcohol. And then I just drizzled it all over the top and just made all these really pretty some things. I don't know, what would you call these some things? All right. A little bit more. Actually, you know what I would do? I would put this in a spray bottle and squirt it. That would be pretty. Let's see, can I swirl it around a little bit? Edges. Okay. Hey, I like that. I think that's going to be pretty. A little bit more on the edges here. All right, this will be interesting to cut this one to see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Well, ain't that interesting? Never done that before. Hmm. All right, well, there's my tea tree. I will be back and cut it. Hello, guys. So I already started the, cutting this on my live show. We have live shows on Living on a Dime, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And you can see my shreds did not work. They just fell to the bottom. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But I must say, the soap really does smell really good. Oh man, smells really, really good. Okay, these are a little too big. Let me get it cut down here just a little bit. Um, you want to smell Dave? Dave's over here. He's thinking he needs to have a sniff. A glorious smell test. A glorious smell test. Here you go. What do you think? Is this spearmint? Tea tree. Tea tree. Oh, it smells like spearmint. Hmm. It smells like bubble gum. <laughs> like when you get that. You think well, tea I mean, tree smells like bubble gum? It is a minty get that, flavor. Not bubble gum, but when you get that gum at the store and it's like the spearmint and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what it smells like to me. I don't know. Is I that like that, simple? huh? Yep, that one can be yours. So. It turned out really good smell-wise, but color-wise, I was hoping my shreds would be more mixed in, but they fell down to the bottom. So, 
That's all right, live and learn. Doesn't really disturb me. I really like in the green that I added on top. I think that's a great idea. I'm gonna have to remember that for the next times I do that. Um, don't forget guys, check out my How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course. Teach how to make cold process and hot process soap. It's super simple. And please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And of course, last but not least, please visit me at livingonadime.com. Yes. And how many bars did we get out of here? Let's see. We got... Four bars. You got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16... 17. 17. So now I cut these a little bit smaller. <laughs> so it's Good. all right. And there's Dave's samples. He's going to take. Bomb. Yep. You like those, huh? All right, guys. That's we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for ordering.